Drake Stein, the Princeton Tigers. The junior, 43 and 2, 120 and 11. Won a couple of sectionals and a couple of semi states. Three time conference champion. He's a cadet All American in 2008, a four time Team Indiana member, and a great student. National Honor Society, a 3.77 on a 4 0 scale. He is in the white singlet, will be scored as red on the board. And in the blue singlet, scored as green on the board, Michael Duckworth from Union County. This is the 171-pound weight class, which was uh, won by Michael Duckworth from Union County a year ago. Well, Union County is uh, seeking its fourth individual state championship. Just so happens that Duckworth won it last year. Phillips has already done his duty with two state titles. And Duckworth fought out of that single leg beautifully. And now he's got a single on Stein, who's got a whizzer. He, he hips under. Stein is an outstanding wrestler, too. Both are great. Now he's going to hip into him. He's got a whizzer. He's trying to hip in. This might end up in a stalemate. Stein with a whizzer. And Duckworth content to break the action. Victims for Duckworth include wrestlers from Eastbrook, Heritage Hills, or check that, Mishawaka, and Eastbrook. 30 seconds left, about. Two on one, or, or trying to get wrist control by Duckworth. Collar tie by Stein. There's motion. He's going to try to get his wrist free. It's... They're filling each other out, but there's a lot of action. Nice job by Stein. He's, uh, he did a good job of pulling Duckworth in. Double leg takedown, and he's got, Stein, uh, he's got Duckworth exposed. The defending cha state champion taken down and put to his back. 4-0. What a move by Stein. Now, Stein was undefeated last year as a sophomore when he uh, ha was injured on the Saturday morning round. He finished eighth place, but he was had to be carted to the hospital and thank goodness he had a neck injury but all is okay and of course now he's made it back to the state championship and what a brilliant move. So Duckworth the defending state champion at 171 in a 4 to nothing hole as we get ready for period number two and Duckworth uh, play had to be stopped in that first period so he could be checked out. Now he finds himself in a 4 nothing hole. Stein is uh, Stein took the defensive or down position. Duckworth has got an arm bar across the body, and he's got the ankle hook, which is quite common. Now he's read a double arm bar, it's called, where he's got Stein tied up. Stein is not going to push the action. He's going to try for a tilt. Duckworth is very good at this. He's got the leg elevated, and Stein rotates through. Now Stein better be careful stepping across while Duckworth still has his arm. No points scored but a, a good move by Duckworth. Nice flurry. And you're going to see that out of both these wrestlers, Mark. They both are outstanding. They both will just keep coming no matter what. 33 times in 49 trips to the mat. Opponents of Michael Duckworth seen the match end in a fall. And Duckworth is trying to get the arm bar control again, and I know he'd like to run, get... Stein flattened out so he could try to run his tilt again. He did a nice job. Nice coming across. Maybe to a near side situation. We got a stalemate called. Stein is a two-time Greco State champion, a 10-time ISWA state placer, four-time Team Indiana member, three-time Bo Henry Bloomington North Invitational champion, and a two-time Al Smith Mishawaka Caveman Classic individual champion. Stein is down. Nice jump to his feet. Nice pickup by Duckworth. And Stein was almost put in a precarious situation, but he came out of his belly down. And now Duckworth has an arm, he has a hook set up, and he's going to try his tilt again. Duckworth trails 4 to nothing with 30 seconds left. He's a two-time Spartan Classic champion, a three-time National High School Coaches Association All-American, and he has committed to Ohio University. And Duckworth's trying to get a selling call against Stein, and uh, it's not happening as of now. Here it comes. So we got a warning against Stein. Duckworth in control. You know, we talked about this last year, Mark, and we're talking about again. Here comes a tilt attempt too close to the edge of the mat. But 
Union County, I, I think, is a 2A program in football. Michael Duckworth, state champion a year ago, undefeated this year. He rushed for 1,900 yards for Union County, and he's got a teammate here as a two-time state champion, also in Cody Phillips, and that's remarkable for a small school. Union County has much to be proud of. 170-pound uh, running backs at 2A football usually do pretty well, don't they? <laughs> well, you, especially when they're built like Michael Duckworth. <laughs> nice job by Stein. Duckworth came up. Stein brought him right back down. Now he's running a spiral ride, and he'll be very content here. He might try to slap the leg in. No, he's going back behind. Duckworth if, has some work to do. He's in a 4 to nothing hole with 90 seconds left in the final period, trailing Drake Stein. Drake Stein is ranked number two in the state, and Duckworth is ranked number one. The posters, uh, they've been right on this yeah, whole Yeah, they've weekend. done well. Stein's picking the single up. He's under control, and he takes Duckworth out. Minute 23. Duckworth has got to create some uh, real quick a flurry of activity, but Stein is so good, he's hard to score against. And if you do score, you better be ready because he'll come right back. Well, considering how Drake Stein's day ended and tournament ended a year ago, it's a one-point escape now for Duckworth to make it 4-1. to one. Duckworth did a nice job, got to his feet, passed the wrist behind, and got the escape. He tried an inside trip or attempted one, but he couldn't get in close enough to Stein's to, to reach the leg. Stein is, uh, I don't know if he'll just counter, but he is very good at reshots and reacting to his opponent's first initial move. Duckworth shoots in. Stein blocks it nicely. He's in good spot. Now, Stein may shoot up back under when they come back up. Catch Duckworth by surprise. Stein has got a front headlock out of bounds. 46 seconds left. They've got very good regional and sectional reps. Nice job by Stein. That's where I was talking about the shot under. Uh, I don't think Duckworth is expecting that because Stein would be on the uh, defensive, but as Duckworth moved in, Stein dropped under, which is a good, good strategy. Drake Stein, 30 seconds away from a state championship and upending the defending state champion, Michael Duckworth at the 171-pound weight class. Give Stein credit there. He, he blocked Duckworth's attempt. He snapped the head, and when Duckworth raised up, he shot under for a double, so he can't get hit for stalling. Duckworth fought out of it nicely, but Stein is uh, keeping up the attack. Duckworth, nice shot. He's in on a, wasn't in on a high single, but he can't quite get it. Now he's got the underhook. Look for maybe some type of throw here, but Stein is excellent at those as well. How about that? Well, Drake Stein becomes the, the first Princeton champion for a long time. 171-pound champion has been dethroned. Well, congratulations to Drake Stein. Congratulations, Drake Stein. He's only a junior, so he'll be back next year. And what a great career for Michael Duckworth, 171-pound champion a year ago. Runner up at 171 pounds, Union County High School's Michael Duckworth. And our state champion at 171 pounds from the Tigers of Princeton High School, Junior Drake Stein. Before we uh, get to the 215-pound finals, a couple of interesting notes about Stein. He did set a new tech ball record at 171 with a time of three mi minutes, breaking the old record in Indiana by modern day's Blake Maurer, which was three minutes and 15 seconds.